Yeah, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different, and I thought I would get out here and and video this. What we got going on today? It's going to be real quick. We have a tank for 28 that has just come. What we have done? We've put this slab of concrete in. It's uh, approximately 16 inches thick. And we have uh, two runs of 15M rebar on 12 inch centers going each way. There's one near the top and there's one near the bottom. And for reinforcement. We've put in uh, about 80 ton of gravel to build a ramp because he wanted a ramp so he can back up to unload and, and he said our gravel's a little bit high so he's just going to take it down a little bit they give us instructions on the phone and it's hard to know exactly what they want anyway this gravel we put in it's crushed concrete and it's screened so what we do we take slabs of concrete run it through the crusher run it over a screener screen out all the big pieces and it's actually just like a gravel packs like concrete really packs good anyway it's our way of recycling anyway we have this tank it's come from it's come from uh, Manitoba. It holds 40,000 40, gallons. I got Rick here today. How are you, Rick? I'm good, how are you? And where are you from, Rick? Morden, Manitoba. Morden, Manitoba. I got some uh, cattle last year out of Ashern. Okay. Ashern, Manitoba. Yep. And the guy I got them from is selling his cows because it's so dry oh, out there. Yeah, that's good. That looks great. Anyway, Rick's going to stand this tank with no problems. We have no problems. No. <laughs> should, should go to the oh, so. <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> that's a wide trailer. Yeah, 12 wide, yeah. Rick's been bringing these to Ontario. I think they're pretty well hauling steady, aren't they? I see lots of them around the country. So what he's doing, he's got some kind of hydraulic system on this trailer and he's gonna just stand it up actually the fill and suction are just about perfect we want it on this corner so what he's doing he's standing this tank What he has on the bottom is a couple of forks to hold that tank from sliding off. And it uh, transfers the weight to the forks and he'll just pull ahead. So what they've done somehow, the front cylinder has unhooked and we're now using these two back cylinders. Somebody was up all night worrying about how to do this. You see that, Frank? They unhooked that top cylinder. Unbelievable.
was there ever any doubt? No. No doubt yeah. at all. We had to figure it out all along. <laughs> the only little screw up we had, we had a little bit of B gravel on the other side and uh, it didn't hold as well as the crushed concrete. The crushed concrete just holds like nothing. So what we got now is one inch stainless steel anchor bolts. Frank's going to drill some holes, anchor this thing. Anyway, I'm going to go over here and have a brief conversation with our color commentator, Corey. Uh oh, we got two helpers. What do you think of that? Um, entertaining. Entertaining? Yep. What do you think, Corey? Entertaining. What have you got to uh, enlighten us with? I'm a little scary, isn't it? Um, Did you have any doubt? It looks crooked. It's crooked for a <laughs> Did you have any doubt in your mind? Nothing. No, no, no issue? No, it's going to work the whole time. What about Gunner? Did he have any problems? Nope. Gunner, are you happy? Yeah, laying on the grass. Looks good. What do you think, Kim? Well, looks good now. Did it look okay? Yeah. Were you worried? A little. We were okay until... So at the very end, it's like a big rattle rattle. What had happened, we put a little bit of bee gravel on this side. Oh. Bee gravel don't hold up like crushed concrete. That was the issue. Oh, I see. Anyway. Oh, well. Who thought of that idea to have that cylinder let go? That's quite an idea. Yeah, it's the gravel box cylinder to get it up the first way. And then uh, that's the heaviest part of the tip of the lift, right? And then after that, uh, the two smaller cylinders take over. So what do you haul back? Nothing? Nothing. Empty all the way. You haul uh, what we call uh, dispatcher brains. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think? You can use that too. <laughs> I will. <laughs> well, that's good. Well, thanks a lot, Rick. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Thanks for coming all the way from Manitoba. Yeah, yeah. Old Manitoba. So, do you have to run only in the daylight? That's right. Yeah, I can drive so dark and then I gotta shut down. So. Which only makes sense. You gotta sleep sometime. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Well, that's about going to do it for this video. I just thought it was a little bit different. And I uh, want to thank you for watching. If you liked it, give us a like. If you haven't subscribed now, it'd be a good time. We are about, I would say, less than 10 subscribers away from 1,000, which is pretty good for me. Anyway, there she is. And... Uh, We'll get her full of 28. And then I don't know what we're going to do with these plastic tanks. Maybe turf out a couple. Use them for water, likely. Anyway, thanks again. <laughs>